friend of mine had a job interview last week. I asked her how it went. She said, well, you know, I really like the company, but I think they're going to deny me. And I was like, what? And she says, I think they're going to deny me. And I said, no, no, no. I think they're going to reject me. You have to say reject there. And she said, why? Why can't I say they're going to deny me? And then I told her what I'm going to tell you now. Whenever I apply for a job, or apply for university, or something that has a chance of failure, they can reject me. If I apply for Google, they say no, I can say Google rejected me. Opposite of reject is accept. I applied for Harvard and they accepted. Ooh. Or I applied for Harvard and they rejected me. English. Deny is when I accuse you of something and you wish to say, no, it's not true. You, you stole my car. I know you stole my car. No, oh, no, man, I didn't do it. I didn't steal your car. I didn't steal nothing. This is denying. I deny that I stole your car. Opposite of that is admit. You stole my car, didn't you? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I stole your car. I needed to go to the grocery store. I admit. Opposite of reject can be accept. Opposite of deny can be admit. That's why I applied for a job and they denied me is wrong. And I applied for a job and they rejected me is right. Any question? What about turn down? Uh, to me, reject just sounds like a more formal version of turn down. I got down on one knee and I held out a ring and I proposed to my girlfriend, will you marry me? And she turned me down. Or she rejected me. Or she shot me down. Uh huh. Turn down, shot down. These are more uh, casual speaking ways of saying reject. Mm. Typically in like the business field or whatever, you say, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Budzowski, but we have to reject your proposal. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to turn down your proposal. It's okay, but a little more casual. We have to shoot down your proposal. Shoot down is the more serious version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is a uh, word, mm -hmm. decline. Decline. Yeah, so, you know, let's say, I'm a guy who's running a business, right? Mm -hmm. But I need some kind of like money. Mm -hmm. So I decided to apply for some loans, mm -hmm. right? But, you know, I got declined. Oh, yeah. Can you say that? You can say my, my application was declined. Sounds better than I was declined. Mm. Usually decline is not for people. My application is declined. My proposal was declined. That is declined. I asked my friend out for lunch and he refused. Sounds like... No, I'm not want to eat with you. But I asked my friend out for lunch, and he declined. Sounds more like, uh, no, sorry, I can't eat lunch with you. So it's softer meaning. Whenever you're applying for a university or a job or proposing for marriage, mm. what you're selling is yourself, right? So that's why they reject you. Mm -hmm. But whenever you ask your friend out for lunch, what you're selling is lunch, is your proposal. So they reject your proposal. Good. Good? Got it. So remember, reject, accept, deny, admit, and don't mess them up. English. 자, 필요하고 이제 deny하고요, reject의 차이점을 살펴보셨고요. 그리고 그 중간에 이제 decline이라는 표현도 배웠고요. 그 다음 turn down 이라는 표현도 같이 살펴보셨죠? 제가 간단하게 정리를 좀해 드리도록 하겠습니다. 일단은요, deny 같은 경우는 어떤 사람이 어떠한 것을 했을 때 어, 어, 나는 이게 이렇게 다 물어보는 거예요. 어, 너 이거 했지? 아, 아니에요. 나안 했어요. 어, 그때 어, I deny. deny 라는 표현을 사용할 수 있고 그 다음에 어, reject 라는 것은 보통 일반적으로 내가 어떠한 지원을 했어요. 음, 어떤 회사에 지원을 하거나 아니면 내가 좋아하는 여자가 있어서 그 좋아하는 여자친구한테 어, 야, 너 나하고 사귈래? 하는데 그거에 대해서 거절당했죠. 이렇게 거절하다고 할 때요. 우리는 reject를 사용합니다. 아, 
그래서 디나이 같은 경우는 말씀드렸다시피 어떤 어나안 했어 이때 좀 디나이 어 아니야 할때 디나이 그 다음 리젝트라는 것은 한국말로 하면 거절하다 거절하다라는 거 하고 이제 거의 매칭이 되는 것 같아요 여러분들 리젝트의 반대말은요 자 아니야 하는 게 리젝트잖아요 거절하는 거잖아요 그러면 받아들이는 거는 어 그래 좋아 너 우리가 고용할게 accept라는 거죠 어야 보니까 너 성적 괜찮은데 그래 너 똑똑한 거 같아 accept가 되겠죠 accept 아시겠죠? 반면에 디나이 같은 경우는 안 했어요! 안 했어요! 그럼 어, 했어요 저 인정할게요 인정하다 라는 표현 뭐예요? admit admit 라는 표현이 생각이 나죠 그렇게 기억을 하시면 되겠습니다 그 다음에 turn down 이라는 것은 어, 그 reject 라는 거 있잖아요 그거 약간 캐주얼한 버전이라고 생각하시면 되겠고요 그 다음에 더좀 강하게 말하자면 shut down shut down 이라는 표현 맞죠? Peter? Right? shut down 이라는 표현 아이가 shut down 어, 하면 나 거절 당했어 완전히 어, 완전히 거절 당했어 할때 사용이 가능하다는 거죠. 되셨나요? 네. 이렇게 해서 오늘 좀 다양한 표현들 살펴봤는데 이 디나이와 리젝트 차이점이 메인이니까 그두 가지 확실하게 기억하시고요. 우리 그러면 다음 시간에 또 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 궁금한 어떤 헷갈리는 표현이 있으면요 아래다가 답글을 달아주시면 저희가 아주 열심히 준비해서 여러분들 이때에 자 열심히 준비해서 여러분 네. 땡 <웃음> 오케이 열심히 준비해서 여러분들에게 다가가도록 하겠습니다. 오 oh, 예. Yeah.